Self-Healing Measures, 7 Crucial Steps. The entire Earth, including all living beings and plants, possesses extraordinarily powerful self-healing abilities. Nature is perfect and is constantly striving to improve itself, to cure wounds, and to right errors. For example, selection and selection are essential concepts in evolutionary theory. Nature's processes are all coordinated with one another. If this balance is broken, nature instantly attempts to restore normalcy. Unfortunately, most people have forgotten their origins. Nobody believes in the self-healing skills anymore. People like to put their trust in others, in their knowledge and opinions, in doctors, alternative practitioners, and other authority figures. I have little faith in doctors. With the essential knowledge or sources from which to pull my knowledge, I can have faith in myself and become self-sufficient. I am myself, I am a part of nature, and the truth resides within me. Certainly, there are many exciting prospects in conventional medicine today, such as surgical treatments or medical technology. However, for the majority of diseases, many people may take more responsibility for themselves and rely more on the body's self-healing abilities. I don't believe that pharmaceuticals cure colds, rather, I believe that the body heals. According to physician David Coleman, your self-healing abilities are so powerful that your body can recover itself from more than 90% of all illnesses, both physically and emotionally. Your body is capable of a great deal. However, in order for it to function flawlessly and to be able to produce, say, 30 to 40 of your body's own medicines, without issue, you must pay attention to a few details. Learn to pay attention to your body's cues. I promise you that you will ultimately grow used to it. Of course, this necessitates some prior knowledge. Today, I'd like to give you some pointers on how to boost your self-healing abilities while also increasing your overall well-being. The first step is to eat properly. Nutrition is the be-all and end-all of good health. Just like an automobile need the proper fuel, so does your body. Unfortunately, ideas on what is the best fuel for the body varies greatly. I can only suggest that you consider your origins. Consider what food nature intended for you as a living being. Have faith in your common sense. Do you still believe that caffeinated sweet soft beverages and highly processed cereal items, salt sticks, are the best foods for a gastrointestinal issue and that nature intended you to eat this way? Do you believe this is what your body need and provides it with the nutrients it requires? Unfortunately, what we feed our bodies on a daily basis is still far too often underestimated. But, isn't it natural that what we feed our body has a huge impact on our health, on the physical processes that keep us alive? Proper nutrition refers to species-appropriate food, much as a car requires type-appropriate gasoline. As a result, these are my recommendations. As much raw food as possible, organic fruits and vegetables, because it is still full of nutrients and important components and has not been processed, by heating and processing most nutrients are lost. Avoid gluten-containing grain goods, pasta, noodles, etc., as much as feasible, if at all possible. No alcohol, at least throughout the disease phase, no nicotine, no coffee drink as much water, or tea, if you like, as you want. Avoid sugar as much as possible, fruits are essential. Little salt, no table salt, rather unprocessed original, crystal salt. As little dairy as feasible, except butter. Make advantage of healthy, saturated, fats, butter, coconut oil. Eat sparingly. Overeating strains the body, overacidifies it, exhausts it, and depletes it of the strength required for self-healing. Pay attention to hunger stages on a daily basis, learn to detect true hunger, and have fasting days so that the body may use all of its strength for repair and purification. Chew thoroughly, saliva already has a roll smiley face. Tip no. 2. Exercise. Food nutrients must enter your cells in order for your immune system to operate. Of course, your metabolism plays a significant role in this. When you exercise, your body simply operates better since you activate metabolic processes, improve the cardiovascular system, heart, and circulation. Sports cause your body to release happiness hormones, which have a favorable influence on your immune system. It is not a matter of participating in high-performance sports. A walk or, for example, trampolining can be beneficial. Of course, exercising outside in the fresh air is ideal, 
as there is plenty of oxygen and minimal contaminants in the air, e.g. in the forest. Third tip. Get enough sleep. While you sleep, your body can restore itself, both physically and mentally. However, it is not only quantity that is important here, but also quality. Do you get enough sleep every night? Is everything okay with you in the morning, or does it hurt? Do you believe you could increase your sleep quality? Find out what makes you happy, how you feel, and what you need to modify from time to time. This is significant since, after all, we spend the majority of our lives sleeping. You may also discover that the more you pay attention to your body and provide it with what it truly requires, the less sleep it requires. Tip 4. Avoid stress by doing what makes you happy. Stress is incredibly detrimental to one's health. However, not all stress is the same. There is good stress, which you are responsible for, which encourages you physically yet where positive energy is released. There is also negative stress, which is mostly caused by outside factors such as professional and social pressure, bullying, and so on. I believe that negative stress, in particular, has a detrimental impact on your health. If you are experiencing negative tension, liberate yourself from it by rethinking your stress-inducing beliefs and imagining what might happen in the worst-case scenario. Most of the time, we tell ourselves far too gloomy stories. Negative stress is harmful to your health, but it also signifies that you are not enjoying the life you desire. Always keep you in mind. Allow yourself plenty of time. You are perfect the way you are, life is too short for unneeded stress, and there is an enjoyable and enriching task, activity for everyone. You only have one life, and you should never live it for the sake of others or for the sake of others. Fifth tip. Get some sun. All living things would perish if the sun did not exist. We rely on it. Without it, we would not exist, and it has a greater impact on our health than most people realize. Unfortunately, many individuals unconsciously avoid the sun. The media's horror stories about skin cancer, eye disorders, sunburn, circulation issues, and other maladies caused by too much sun instill far too much anxiety. Almost no one leaves the home without sunglasses and sunscreen, and some are even afraid of the sun. Use your common sense here as well. Humans have survived for millions of years without these two utensils, and have been healthier as a result. The sun is really beneficial to our health. It provides us with energy, helps us produce vitamin D, a vital hormone for the immune system, happy hormones, and much more. Essential for our health we are sun children. The spread of humanity began in the tropical jungle, where our closest cousins, the apes, still reside today winking face. Unfortunately, we don't get enough sunlight in the northern hemisphere. In the winter, UVB radiation is too low to synthesize the necessary vitamin D. This is why we are forced to spend the summer in the tropical rainforest. That is why, from March to October, we must take advantage of the summer months to soak up the sun, at least half an hour during lunchtime, or travel close to the equator. However, if feasible, avoid using sunscreen so that the sun's rays have the desired effect winking face. Sixth tip. Relaxation and meditation being under chronic stress or tension puts a significant impact on your immune system. As a result, it is critical that you always make time for leisure in your life. This works really well as a stress reduction technique in athletics, as well as with other techniques such as deep relaxation. Instructions or guided deep relaxation can be found on the internet and e.g. at Yoga Vidya. Autogenic training is also beneficial, e.g. as a course in your city. Or simply discover what distracts and relaxes you, which may often be as easy as going for a stroll, taking a hot bath, making yourself at home comfortable, and so on. Try to let go in your own unique way. Meditation, in particular, can be beneficial. This generally penetrates deeper and has a longer-lasting effect than simply relaxing. Meditation has been shown to trigger the self-healing powers. Meditation allows you to perceive your body more deeply, to delve deeper, to learn to listen to and control your body. Many meditators also report a state of happiness that lasts throughout the day. The seventh tip is to think positively. The ability to think clearly is essential for self-healing. Cancer patients who give up on themselves frequently lose the battle. Positive and encouraging ideas help to improve the immune system and stimulate the body to work at its best. 
The most critical condition for activating our self-healing powers is the determination to get healthy. You acquire trust in your body and become more confident once you sense what is possible, what your body is capable of, what you can do for yourself, and what amazing tools nature provides. This helps you and frees you up a little bit. As you can see, there are numerous ways to trigger your self-healing abilities and maintain long-term health. However, it is critical to live life without blinkers, to be inquisitive and informed, to question established thought structures, and to determine what is best for you personally and which reality is your truth. Take charge of your own health. Take charge of yourself and be self-assured. Do not entrust it to others unconditionally. Nobody knows your body like you do. What do you do to maintain your health? Do you notice any changes as a result of your actions? In the description, we linked products that will help you. We hope you will give us a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. We look forward to see you in the next video.